Hey guys, this is Peter, and today I'm at one of my favorite places, but I got here a whole different way, and that's what's in front of us right now. This is a bicycle from Troxus. It's called the Skyhopper, and I'm going to show it to you right now. All right, well, as I just mentioned, this is, well, it's a bike from Troxus. It's called the Skyhopper, and I really like this one. They make a ton of bikes, by the way. This is the least expensive, the Skyhopper 20-inch. They're all fat tire bikes, and I've, I love these things. They're a lot of fun. Let me show you this. The same price... Oh, they should have this one also in a 26 inch bike, just in case you wanted to know. Also 41% off right now. You can also have these both at Amazon. I'll put a link to both of these. Of course, it helps out my channel if you do, but I really like this bike. And let me just show it to you and what it can do with these fatter tires. All right, well, these bikes come with four inch wide tires and that's why they're called fat, fat tires. And uh, anyway, they're made for mud. They're made for snow. They're made for sand so it immediately made me think of one of my favorite spots that being the beach and this is how you get to that beach well i'm going to go ahead and cut it because speed it up a little bit don't worry i drove quite responsibly but uh the, having the wider tires does give you more traction so it is really nice you couldn't do this on this shale it would be really uh crazy and look with these ruts thank goodness for the front suspension uh it is sped up a little bit here but uh, uh it was just fine the wider tires do give you a lot of traction they have really knobby tires it's wet and ruddy uh, down here and we're about to get down to the sand i'm going to show you when you get to the sand it's kind of like walking on a mattress it is so thick right here so you hop off and there's a little throttle button that you can walk alongside with so not only good do i get to put a little body weight on the bike and hit the button so it walks me straight across. It's actually easier walking across the sand with these electric bikes. Oh, and when you get to the hard pack stuff, it's even, you can ride it. I was going up to 20 miles an hour. I was taking it pretty uh, slow on this one, but I'll throw one in at the end where I'm going full speed. Uh, it's easy to get confidence on this stuff because it rides really nicely. Here I'm about to go down to the south end of the beach where it's a little more secluded. That's why it's my favorite spot. A, it's a pain to get to this spot. Uh, B, uh, you have to walk all the way down to the end of the beach to get to my spot. So I like this little shelf right here. I usually hang out down there. Anyway, uh, I do want to show you how quickly you can sp uh, sprint up this beach. It was no problem whatsoever. I want to go exploring. There's so many things I haven't explored. I've come to this beach forever, but there's more to be seen. So let's go take a look because there's a lot of stuff to go explore. This is a big piece of coast and it is untouched. So there's not a lot of people here. And uh, this is one of the more popular beaches. I'm gonna go find one that isn't so popular. Hey, as I'm going up the sand here, it does get a little bit more slippery, a little, a little looser. So when you go up even higher into this stuff, we're again gonna hop off and push the button. So there is a button down on the, here it is, the grip shift. Just push that button and it makes it so easy to walk. It kind of pulls you or propels you across the sand. Super nice. Yeah, even walking with the, your, your shoes is a pain. But yeah, when you finally get to the dry stuff again, hop on that bike. So this does have a 750 uh, watt motor uh, and it goes 20 miles an hour on pedal assist because that's the standard, but it will go up to uh, 20, uh, sorry, 20, 20 miles an hour is just throttle only. It'll do 28 on pedal assist. I got it to 26 and a half, but uh, I'm a bit bigger. This is really a bike for someone five, seven, and I'm kind of a little bit bigger, but uh, you know, I'm five, nine, so it was all right. Here I am climbing back up, which is fantastic. This is a long walk for anybody. I do run into some people here and I wanna be very cautious. These guys look like they see me and they're moving out of the way. But the next group was a little more steadfast. So they threw me into the rut zone. So I pop off and uh, again, the pedalist or the, the throttle came in handy. I'm able to push the button and walk it up the hill, which is so nice. If you had a traditional mountain bike, you'd be throwing it in the bushes right now. But this walked up nicely. I got to the point where I could pedal back and guess what? I'm going to go up this road for the first time ever and just go explore. Got a lot of coast and uh, there's a, this is a, a lot of farmland. So I'm going to kind of duck in. There's, every couple of miles, there's a spot to go park. Well, I'm going to take this frontage road and kind of see where, where I can get to. 
go visit some other beaches. And that's exactly what we do. So uh, here's a, I found one. <laughs> Let's turn off and go down this path. Uh, this is just fantastic. It is sped up, but uh, as you can see, it's rut, it's, it's got ruts and it's wet and <laughs> it's quite bumpy, but uh, no problem at all for this bike. Again, front suspension and uh, it handles it quite nicely. And no one have to worry about these hills because as soon as I pedal, up we go. Nice to have the wider tires. You're, if you had a standard bike, you'd be slipping on this stuff. Unless you really knew how to ride and lean backwards and do all those tricks. But four inch wide tires, no problem whatsoever. It makes everyone look like a champ. Oh, there's a nice little beach. All right, I'm going to go up to the top a little bit and see what we can see. Wow, that is a beautiful beach. All right, there's a picture of the bike, a little promo shot. <laughs> but uh, uh, let's hop back on the road and I'll take you some other places. I found a bunch of places, really exciting. You know, this makes me want to get another one so I could take one of the kids and show them some of these spots. This is just unspoiled um, beach. I mean, it's beautiful. There's nobody here. No, there's some of these beaches that I'm going to show you. They're absolutely beautiful, and I don't even know how to get down to them. <laughs> I guess you'd have to kayak into them or something. Fantastic. Oh, and it did get quite muddy. And yeah, this was fantastic through the mud. I could see other people, other riders had ruts where they were digging their traditional tires. This one went through so much smoother. I really didn't have a problem. The only problem I had was uh, keeping it off my, my feet because <laughs> it would spray up a little bit. The fenders were, of course, really crucial. That was neat. Oh, that one was a little too deep for me. I had to push my way out. Was not expecting that. But this is just great. I mean, I had never explored this stuff before because even though it's open to you, you didn't have an option. I found this spot. That was beautiful. I found this. That's beautiful, too. That's a great spot. All right, this is why I got the smaller one. It fits in my car so nicely. I just have a, a standard Sienna, and I can lift it up. Don't have to take anything apart. Just throw it in there. And this is how you put it together. It comes in a box like this. It's 80% assembled. All you really have to do is, well, cut through some major plastic straps, but then just uh, lift up the handlebars and bolt them in. Not a big deal. And then put on the front wheel. It does come with an, uh, a user's manual, but it doesn't have assembly instructions. So luckily it's quite easy. Hey, left pedal goes on the left side, right pedal goes on the right side. Putting on the fender was a little challenging, but uh, and there's a front light, which I'm going to show you. In fact, I think I'm going to show you that in just a minute. Um, let's see. I did like the level of integration. The build quality is really good. Look at those welds. The wire goes inside all of the, the pieces, fits together really nicely really good build that is a samsung battery pack made with samsung cells and look we have uh rear disc brakes and front brakes and front shocks those are great and uh just the build quality was great nice gears and uh there's seven gears by the way five assist levels it'll help you up through different speeds the ba battery packs built in it is removable you can charge it inside or out there yeah, shows the shows you the how full it is just on the battery pack. There's the tires, nice knobby tires. This is before I got it all dirty, but uh, here, this is the front headlight. Give it a click and here, that's the front of it. Good enough to see and good enough to be seen by, oh, which is good. You Two reasons to have a light, to be seen or to see. And the backlight, it flashes when you hold onto the brake. That's nice. And you can step through all the modes. You can see I have almost 30 miles on this before I took it on my long ride. So I really got familiar with this thing. I really like it. It is pretty good. Five different assist modes. The fifth one will take you up to the 28. Again, I got it up to 26.5 in the dirt. But uh, uh, maybe I was a little too heavy. I pedaled really hard. That's a little bell. I'm going to show you that from the other side. Nice little, you want to get someone's attention? It's a cute little ding ding instead of some annoying buzzer or something. That is pretty great. Again, there's the front tires. And I really liked the fact that it has those uh, those tire guards on there because I was going through some serious mud. Front and rear. Got no spray up the back. That was really nice. And a really nice rack. I do like that. It says 55K kilograms on there. So neat bike. There's the gear shifter. 
It's just rapid fire shift. And I do like the handles. They're quite nice. Anyway, guys, this is a really beautiful bike. The build quality is great, and I think the price is great. So I'll put some links down below. Of course, it helps out my channel if you go and follow them, but uh, I get this thumbs up. I want another one right away. Probably I'm going to get a 26 for me. Give this to one of the kids. See you in the next one, guys. Talk to you soon.